everyone welcome back to the channel thanks so much for being here so this week's video is just going to be a quick and easy meal ready for the holidays so it's going to be a holiday lentil loaf and a very simple rice dish that's made with wild rice and chestnuts and you can whip this up in no time at all and it is super easy and festive to make for the holidays Okay, so these are the lentils that I'm going to use. I'm just using these brown lentils. I'm going to rinse them. And then I'm also going to be adding some green split peas as well. So that's it. That's all I'm using. You can use green or brown lentils. You can leave the split peas out if you want, but I'm going to add those in. Totally up to you. So here are the lentils and the split peas. So half a cup of the split peas and one cup of the brown lentils. And I'm just going to give it a quick little rinse and pop it into my pot. Okay, so I have two and a half cups of water. I may add a little bit more water after. I'm going to see how this goes. And then you can add one bouillon cube or a tablespoon of whatever oil-free broth you have on hand. Or you can just use broth instead of water and that will flavor up your lentils as well. So I start it at a high heat and then once it starts boiling up a little bit, I'm just going to reduce the heat to a medium low and allow this to cook up. So I'm going to be using some quick oats in this recipe, but I'm also going to be using some oat flour. So what I do is just my big bags that I buy of the steel cut oats, I just make flour with it. And this is basically what I use for 99% of my recipes. I will sometimes use buckwheat flour or spelt flour, occasionally brown rice flour I really like. Um, but most of the time this is just easier and I keep it you know, in a jar. I have a couple big jars and I always keep it in here and that way it's ready to go. So I just ground it up in my Vitamix. If you don't have a Vitamix then any high powered blender I'm sure would be fine. So if you have two large carrots then cut up two large carrots. I only have like these are pretty small. So I'm going to use all of these, but two large carrots should be sufficient. I'm just going to chop up these and I have this pepper that I need to use up. So I'm going to also chop this one up as well. So I'm going to be adding four flax eggs to this recipe. You don't have to add that much. Um, it is, you know, can be kind of pricey or hard to find sometimes. So at least two, I would say at least add two flax eggs to your loaf, but I'm going to go ahead and add four. I just like adding extra flax. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to mix that. So one tablespoon and three warm tablespoons of water is going to give you one flax egg. But I'm going to go ahead and add four. So I'm going to make four flax eggs. Okay, so I chopped down the carrots pretty finely and I also chopped the peppers a little bit more and that's what I'm going to be putting into my loaf. So much yummy goodness. So these guys are doing really well. And then once your water is pretty absorbed, you know that they are done and they are ready to go. So I'm just going to be mashing them up a little bit afterward um, and they are going to be fantastic. Just maybe half of them kind of with a potato masher just to get that um, a little bit broken down. So this is the flax and that's all it is. Just the flax in warm water and then mix it up and it gets thick and you can use that as an egg replacement. And it's a healthy egg replacement. So I chopped up five cloves of garlic and I'm going to water saute these and then I'm going to go ahead and put the bell pepper and the carrot into the pot and saute those as well. So with the garlic, I have one teaspoon of dry oregano and I also put a sprinkling of chili flakes. So I am just going to saute this and then go ahead and add the carrot and the bell pepper. So once my garlic was all softened up, I added my carrots and my bell peppers to the mixture and I'm just water sauteing it until it's softened. 
And then I'm just going to set that aside because it's going to be time to get the lentils ready. And in order to get the lentils ready, now that they're cooked up, I'm just going to mash them a little bit just to break them down just a bit. And then all that mixture is going to go into a large bowl where I already have oats. I have my quick oats in that bowl and I also have my oat flour. I'm going to add the lentils to that bowl. I'm going to add my veggies to the big bowl, seasonings, and of course the flax meal. So I wanted to use carrot and bell pepper because that's what I pretty much always have available. And I wanted to make sure that this recipe was something that was easy and you can find all the ingredients and most people are going to have these ingredients at home so that if you're in a pinch and you need to make something, you have something healthy that you can whip up that will serve many people and it's no fuss at all. So make sure your bowl is large enough to accommodate a lot because this mixture will make two loaves. It is a lot. And so you want to make sure that you can still have room to mix everything up properly. So I have this spoon that kind of is hollow in the middle. It's great for stuff like this, but if you are finding that your spoon is getting too sticky, you're not able to incorporate things properly, then I suggest maybe using your hands and that way you can incorporate things properly. So these are the seasonings that I decided to use in my loaf, but I suggest that you use whatever you prefer. If you don't like these seasonings, put what you are used to using and what you prefer. That way you customize your loaf to your preference. So I like to use onion powder and garlic powder, paprika. I'm using cumin. I'm using an urban garlic seasoning as well. Um, this is just what I like to use, but don't get fixated on the, you know, seasonings that I'm using. Whatever you have on hand is perfectly fine. So I also added four tablespoons of my organic ketchup to this mixture, but I realized that it didn't show on these clips. So the whole recipe will be in the description box. So don't worry about that. And I'll also put it on my blog as well, because some people say it's easier to go there and grab my recipe. So I will do both for you guys. So like I had said previously, this mixture will give you two loaves, but I know that's a lot for some people. And you know, I made a large batch because I'm thinking holidays and having a lot of people to serve, but this is also really good for meal prepping because if you want, you can have the other loaf in the fridge, just put it in a Ziploc bag or an airtight container. And that way you have another loaf and a quick and easy meal for another day. So in these clips, I was just showing you my ketchup that I'm using for the glaze and that I used inside the loaf and I'm just adding that with some balsamic and I'm adding some garlic powder and paprika and I'm just mixing that very very simple it is a super simple glaze and if you like a lot of sauce on your loaves then I suggest to make a little bit extra or another serving but this covered two loaves perfectly so now it's time to just transfer it to the loaf pan. I line mine with parchment just because it's easy for me to just pull it out and then put it on my serving tray to slice it up, but you don't have to use it. You could grease your pan if you do use oil. I don't, so I prefer to use some parchment. And let me know if there's anything that I can use other than parchment because I do have the reusable um, mats that kind of go on your baking trays, but I don't have anything that I can put in something like this. So if you've come across anything like that, let me know in the comments because I'm really interested to know if there's some other alternatives that I can use. And that way I'm not always buying parchment paper all the time and all the garbage and let's just try to reduce all that. So if you can find another alternative, let me know. So I used a fork just to pat it down because I like it to be nice and full. And one of my loaves was slightly bigger than the other. I didn't, you know, exactly divide it into equal halves, but it turned out perfectly. And I'm just spreading that glaze around and making sure that it's completely covered before I put it into the oven. And I cooked mine for 50 minutes. This smaller loaf took 45 minutes, but that's approximate. It depends on your oven, but that's what I cooked mine at. And I cook this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's get our quick and easy rice dish made. And this is just a mixture from Costco. You guys have seen it many, many times. I make soup with it and I just do so many different things with this rice. It's awesome. These chestnuts are just from the dollar store, pure convenience. They're organic. They're already peeled, really easy. So I'm just adding in my rice into the instant pot. And again, you can make this in a regular pot if you want to, but I'm just, you know, using the instant pot because I do all my cooking in there pretty much. And I'm adding garlic powder and some onion powder as well. You can add whatever seasonings you like best, but this is what I added. And I use just water, but if you wanted to add extra flavor to your rice, I suggest using some veggie broth and that would be awesome. 
and I just cooked it on the rice setting and it was for 12 minutes which is the preset um, just very easy and then I'm not adding the chestnuts now because they'll just get mushy I don't like them mushy if you do want them like that then throw them in too but once it's cooked and I you know I let it naturally release once it's cooked I fluff up that rice and then I add the chestnuts in and that's perfect in my opinion that's how I like it so my loaf is out of the oven and it's just cooling off just a bit and I'm gonna just pick it up with the parchment paper put it into my serving tray and that way I can cut it up this is what it looks like um, my lighting isn't the greatest but yeah it turned out really really well I really enjoyed this recipe and it was really easy to whip up so I would suggest that you have a really nice large salad to go alongside this meal that way you are getting enough veggies in or whatever veggies you have at home but I like having a nice salad um, it just lightens it up since you're having the loaf and the rice and if you wanted to make a veggie gravy that would be awesome as well on this loaf so I hope that these recipes helped give you some inspiration for the holidays. Some quick and easy meal ideas are always needed, I feel. And it's really good to know, you know, that you're cooking your food at home and you know what's in it and you don't have to worry about, you know, added ingredients that you don't want in your diet. And this is healthy, nurturing food that you don't have to feel bad about eating because, of course, during the holidays, we indulge a lot. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any upcoming content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you know every time I post a video. Stay healthy, everyone. Take care.